Good morning everyone, it's Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is staying warm and cozy. It is finally snowing for the first time. I'm such a winter girl, I love the snow, I love the cold, and a lot of times I feel like the only one because I'm just, I'm thriving right now. So given my love of the season, I thought it would be a perfect time to do a writing vlog in which I try to get things done, but I work with like, you know, the gentle winter energies. The fact that, you know, everything and everyone is in hibernation right now and we don't have a ton of energy, but we're doing the best we can. So my goal is to work on Bitter Bones, my middle grade horror, while not getting too caught up and the productivity monster, making sure I take time for myself, for the things that I love to do, the things that make me happy during this time of year, and just to be the ultimate cozy winter lad. All right, so my writing goal for this vlog. I wanna try to finish chapter eight, which is the chapter that I'm on right now. It's a big boy. It's a big boy and he needs a lot of work. For context of where we are in the story, my main character Casey is doing the first little true part of the plot. Like the, the inciting incident is over and he is going out to investigate and, and solve the mystery. And he's found the person he needs to talk to and now he's talking to them and getting the information. The tricky part is I can't obviously have this chapter be boring. It can't just be Casey sitting there interviewing this person, getting the information fed to him. So it's gotta be interesting, but it still has to be informative. This chapter is doing a lot of heavy lifting because it is going to be bolstering up my world building around some of the more creepy aspects of the book. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of foreshadowing notes that are in this chapter highlighted that are like, hey, you need to foreshadow this here. And when I say I have a lot of highlighted notes to foreshadow, I mean it. It's like a full word doc page of just bullet pointed like, hey, you need to foreshadow all of this in this chapter alone. So it's it's a big boy. It's a mess because it's a first draft and there's a lot of things I need to add in. So it's like adding it in and making it read less nasty. This is a one day vlog. So I feel like trying to finish this entire chapter is a bit of a stretch, especially for a vlog where I am trying to be like very chill. But that's kind of the point of this whole vlog, right? Is we set a goal. We think we can achieve. We try our best to achieve it. And if we don't, it's okay. There's always tomorrow. Did you like see that pause in my voice? Like I almost started singing. There's always tomorrow. You're welcome, I didn't. I'm gonna finish my tea. I'm gonna switch back to coffee, but uh, you know, since it's winter time, I've been working on getting the immune system up. I've been mixing all of my immune boosting teas together <laughs> at once, putting them all in one cup because I'm not trying to get the cold or the flu. I don't have time. I have to be cozy. <laughs> I'm getting down to business. I'm gonna go switch out the coffee and let's get writing. I don't know if anyone else does this, but I always highlight in red where I stop and in green where I start a sprint. I'm gonna find it. There it is. Okay. See what we got. 729. Not bad, not bad. I usually work pretty slow when I'm in revisions like this because I'm trying to take stick figure sentences and put some flesh on them. I'm also working to really balance the amount of dialogue to introspection to action happening in this chapter. This is always something that I try to finesse at this stage too because you don't want to have it where after every single line of dialogue your main character like goes into what they think about what that person said like every single time. <laughs> so I have to watch out for that because a lot of times I go ahead and put that in in a first draft just so I know what the character's thinking and feeling at the time, but we don't want that in the actual final narrative. I'm also starting to think that this chapter is gonna be too large, I think over 3,000 words. And just because all of my other chapters are around 1,000 or under, I feel like this one needs to be cut, but I don't know where to trim it yet. So maybe it's something when I complete the chapter, I'll go back through and see where a good little splitting place would be. But it's going well. I wrote a line or two that I was like, ooh, yes. That's fire. And I've also written quite a few sentences where I'm like, ooh, we're gonna go back over that one later. But that's how books come together. Line by line, sentence by sentence, word by word. You just kind of make each little tiny, tiny little grain of salt better. And then eventually, 
you have, you have a whole salt shaker. I don't know where that metaphor was going. I think I am gonna go ahead and do a little bit more writing, but I am starting to get hungry. I wanna make sure I have some veggies <laughs> in this meal since I'm having so much carbohydrates in all my other meals. I gotta make sure, you know, get your nutrients in. It's winter, it's flu season. You gotta be eating healthy. And I don't know, like I'm looking at the snow and I just really wanna go out there and play. I wanna take the dogs out there and go play. I'll have that as a reward. Like you do another few sprints and you get to go outside and like play with the dogs. So Wallace is doing another sprint, which is really nice that she popped on today because I definitely was feeling myself getting very caught up in the vloggy vlog vlog and not the writing part, which is always what I struggle with when I'm doing writing vlogs, but writing vlogs are like my favorite thing to do. <laughs> the immortal struggle. Anyway, as she's doing another sprint, I thought it'd be a perfect time to take a break, kind of update you on how things have been going, which is well. There are a few things that I still feel like I need to read through again or just like foreshadow better. This one thing in particular, I feel like I've got a grasp of just about everything that I have, you know, encountered in the first eight chapters so far. I feel like I've got a good idea of like how they'll look in the final and everything. But there's one character, I still feel like their, their situation is not being foreshadowed enough. But I've decided to write the scene how I have it written out now and if i'm gonna go through and change stuff later i'll worry about that later i'm not gonna stop now and try to fix it when i don't even know how i'm gonna fix it yet but i'm having a lot of fun writing this scene because casey is really like investigating like the first real promise of the premise situation right this first person he goes to find to kind of get answers from is this really what's the word i always use the word kerfunkily but that's not like a real word <laughs> curmudgeoned i think curmudgeoned would be a good word this curmudgeoned old ex-adventurer who had a ton of money and invested a ton of money in his mom's creepy doll foundation, organization, business, whatever. We are kind of like trying to get the tea from him on what happened. And he's like begrudgingly giving them answers and upset about it. And I don't know, I'm having fun writing this mean older man hating on these kids. I, what does that say about me? I don't know, but okay. I've been writing for a while and my lunch was very small more of a snack really. So I think I'm gonna make an early dinner. And I'm really excited because I'm making this white chicken chili. I'm gonna like spice it up. So really it's gonna almost be like a, a Mexican tortilla soup, but like make it thick and chili-like. I don't know, I'm so pumped. Yeah, let's get going, I'm hungry. <laughs>
So, did I finish chapter eight? <laughs> no, I did not. I got very close though, which is good. I think there's like 750 something words left to do. Everyone is ready for bed in this household. I already put my pajamas on. I got a cup of sleepy time tea. I'm ready. The chapter regardless though is massive. So I'm really happy with how much I did. I mean, I think in total it's over 3,100 words. So I'm definitely gonna need to split it at some point. So the fact that I only had like 700 left, happy. I'm not gonna lie though. I don't know if this chapter is gonna be able to stay the way that I've got it written just because uh, I'm scared that I don't have enough tension. I don't know. I think it was Brandon Sanderson who said that you can technically info dump, but what you are info dumping needs to be more intriguing, more tantalizing, more attention getting than any action that could happen reasonably within that scene if you were to swap it out with something. I'm trying to keep that in mind. For most of the chapter, Casey is sitting down across the seat from someone and asking questions, getting questions back and forth. I am not sure that the answers to these questions are gonna be satisfying enough to hold the tension of the whole chapter. I'm hoping so. I mean, the answers we're getting are like really creepy and intriguing and like kind of shocking. So I hope, and I think that's why I wrote it the way that I did in my outline because like I was like oh this is really interesting this is really intriguing this is really gonna hold the reader's attention but that might have just been me I don't know <laughs> but I mean that's why you have beta readers to let you know this kind of stuff towards the end of the chapter I do have a little bit of like actual like ooh action type thing where uh the person Casey's interviewing leaves the room and Casey does the like real quick snooping before he comes back but that's yeah that's the last like quarter of the chapter three-fourths of it are just like sitting down and chatting so I don't I don't know I've read a lot of books where that works though I just I think I've really got to make the answers to these questions be like maybe a shock or a reveal or super intriguing and if I can pull that off then the chapter can maybe stay as it is. Anyway, I am so excited to jump into bed. I have my heated blanket on under my covers so that it's, I'm gonna be like a little Victorian lady. You know what I mean? With their little like foot warmers. So my sheets are gonna be so nice and so warm and I'm just gonna rub my little feet together like a little grasshopper in bed. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope this was fun, enlightening, inspiring, something. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to drama i'm trying to like calm down and chauncey's like let's play thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and uh you can order my books down below if you want i think they're pretty good and yeah thank you so much for watching <laughs> and we will maybe if we're not murdered by chauncey uh see you in the next one <laughs>